Hi, this is Miss Fayetta, and today I'm going to walk you through what you're going to do today in class. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put 20 to 30 photos at the most in your folder after you choose a theme. So today my theme is cars. Yesterday we moved the computers around, so you may have to um, find your photos again. I apologize for that. So it's really easy to make a folder. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're on the desktop which is this, and it says Finder on it. Once it says Finder, go to File, New Folder, and go ahead and title it. My theme is um, Car Photos. Actually, I'm gonna do it for um, my brother-in-law's company, uh, Competition Motorsports. So I'm gonna put CM Bob Fayetta. You just click on it and type. CM, Competition Motorsports. And I did find some photos that I wanted to use, so I just put them on the desktop, but you can also grab them and then put them in your folder so they're ready to go. So far I have about 17 photos, and how you find your photos is, I googled Bob Fayetta Competition Motorsports and I go to Images, and you want to click on the nicest image. That one's really pixelated, so that's not a good one. Um, that one too. That one looks okay. So that one's on the website. And once you find a picture you like, just grab your mouse, drag it, and then drop it to the desktop or your folder. Okay, so that's the first step. Like I said, I already have about 17. Um, Here's my brother-in-law with one of his drivers in his garage. Okay, so there's one, and I'll add maybe one more. There's one of his drivers as well. Oops, that's not a photo as you can see. Let's try it again. Okay, if it's not a photo, you can go ahead and throw it in the trash. And let's get one more. This is from the YouTube cam. So once you have your photos, that's step one of what we're doing today. Okay, So you want to get up to 20, maybe 30 photos, depending on how many seconds. Your video should not be more than a minute, maybe 40 seconds at the most. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to open iMovie. Now iMovie should be on your dock right here. Look to my bottom right. It's purple. If it's not there, you're going to go to the very top and the spotlight. Just click on the spotlight and type in iMovie. It should pop up in purple. You could even grab it and drag it to your docking station down here. But since it's already um, down there, I'm just going to open it. Now, you guys are the first ones to use iMovie, so there, should, there shouldn't be any movies on your um, iMovie. And you're going to add a new project. Oh, I already added one. I'm going to undo this. So all you do if you want to undo a project is you just click on things and just you can just press delete. I was playing around with iMovie later, so I'm going to just delete from my media. Okay, to make a movie, you're going to click on my movie. Oops, sorry. Projects. And you're going to call it. So I'm going to call it um, practice movie competition motorsports okay, and the goal today is just to add your photos in here oh that's funny your goal is just to add your photos and you're going to drop it into iMovie, maybe add a title and a couple transitions. If you get to the part where you're adding music, make sure you have your headphones on. I guess this is a movie somebody in my first period was using my account and they were creating that. Okay, so here we go. You can either drop them one at a time or you can drop your whole entire folder and all the pictures in it into your media, just like that. That's one way. Just drag it and drop it. Okay. All right. Now, these are the settings right here to the right, and it helps you control 
how long your movie is going to be. So I'm just going to drag, oh, you could drag all of them. I like dragging them one at a time because I like to place it where I want them. So this one's really long, and if you want to play it, it's going to play like this. And as you can see, the default is four seconds. So to make it shorter, you go to the settings, and you want to control, oops, that's the frame. You want to control the frame. So that's three seconds, two seconds. This is actually the frame. Sometimes when people are editing, they like to see more frames, even though this whole thing is... This whole thing is seven seconds, but sometimes people like to see just like a smaller frame, just one frame at a time of seven seconds, like this. I kind of like to do it somewhere in between so my space isn't um, taken up by just one photo. Now, as you can see, as it's playing, that's really long, so I'm going to shorten it up. Oh, that was 10 seconds. I'm going to shorten it. Okay, it is at, I like my videos about um, 1.5 seconds, sometimes two seconds. Okay, so I'm going to pull it a little. Now, as you can see, the default is it goes in and out. I'm going to make it a little longer so you can see it. It's called Ken Burns effect, and it goes in and out, in and out. So I like to click on this cropping tool, and you could either crop out the parts that you want. And I like it to fill. I just want it to fit, just like that. So when I play it, it's just going to look like a regular photo. Some people do like to use the Ken Burns effect. But then after a while, too many Ken, this is where it starts, and this is where it ends. But after a while, that gets really old. So you can choose exactly how you want your photo to be. I like it to fit, like I said. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this shorter. I'm going to add another photo. Um, this is from the website. Now, I'm going to crop it because I took a screenshot of the website. So I'm going to go to fit. I'm going to crop it. I'll crop to fill. And I'll just probably use this part. Actually, this is the website. I guess it's okay if I use the whole thing. But if you do want to crop it, you may crop just the area that you want. Okay, so there you go. I have two photos. So far, I have five seconds. That's kind of long. When you think about it, um, people like things pretty upbeat and um, quick. So there you go. So I have two photos on there. My goal is to make a creative video using titles, a few transitions. Here's the transitions. And you want your transitions to be subtle and you want it to also go with your video. Um, here's dissolve, fade to black. I'll do mosaic, it's not that subtle, but you could really see what a transition is. You could also um, control the timing of your transitions here by pulling it. Let's see. Oops, that's too short. If you don't like the transition, you could just cut. You can grab. You can highlight it and then press backspace or delete. So I'll try another transition. Here's cube. Transitions are kind of fun, but uh, you don't want to use too many. Okay, so now I have two photos. When you are done and you're placed, you've placed your photos where you want, um, the next thing that, the next goal today is to make sure that you add a title. Actually, we're gonna add a title, but I did put that first. So, um, there's different titles. This one is my favorite one. Where was it? I kinda like this title. But that looks kind of like a fun title, and it doesn't really go with my video of competition motorsports. So when you want to add a title, you just drag it and drop it. And 
You can write whatever you want. And you can see how that should really go in the front. So I'm going to move it there. I'm not sure if that really goes. And it's a little bit too short. It's hard to read. If you don't like it, once again, you could highlight it, click it, and delete it. So that's all the goal is for today, is to put in your photos, iMovie, drop your photos in iMovie. You could do it all together or one at a time. It's better if you do it one at a time. That way you can um, kind of control what you're making. I also put a couple of tutorials here because they have really good tips for you. I, I didn't cover everything, but for those who are ready to move on, and the very last step for some people who are ready is you can try to find audio on GarageBand. We'll work on GarageBand next week, but there are a few, um, let's see if GarageBand has anything on here. Oops. And iMovie saves, so you don't have to worry about saving it. That's weird. I don't know where my GarageBand audio is. Okay, well that's okay because we just have to do for now just the titles. Um, I don't even know why I put this. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, purple tutorial. Tutorial one. Okay, so go ahead and get to work and I'm going to check your work 15 minutes before the bell rings. I'm also going to collect your exit ticket today because I think I made a few mistakes on um, the grading and I just want to double, triple check it before I submit it tomorrow. Okay? Thank you.